Hello guys, sorry for looking a bit rough. I was out this morning, got a couple of airports, and went swimming with my daughter. And it's half term in it, so I've got the kids. So I just snuck upstairs to do this video, because this video, a lot of people ask me about, so I thought to do a video about it. So as you know, little update, I've just got a minibus as lo alongside my Tesla. And then people go, oh, you're flipping mad, blah, 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 blah. And I wanted to explain the reason why, and I want to explain the reason that is the best and the worst time to own a minibus. Now, I'm not talking a Ford Galaxy or a Volkswagen Sharan. There's nothing like that. I'm talking a full-blown minibus. Ford Tornio, Vito, uh, my car, i800. Do you know what I mean? Now, I've had I've had this bus for a couple of months. And I also have had um, my own bus as well. Remember that Ford Tornio plug-in hybrid they had? So I've got a full experience about that. And also, I know a little bit about the airports as well. So I can advise you. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I only speak... My opinion on this channel, as you know, you can take it or leave it. Do you know what I mean? It's 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 my opinion of what I've found, and that's what I share. It's not fact. It's not written in stone. Do you know what I mean? Now, before I start, as you know, I've, I'm launching, well, I've launched my own airport transfer company, DM Airport Transfers, UK-wide, any airport, anywhere in the UK. Make sure you book if you're going on Aldi. Boom. That's the first thing I wanted to say. The second thing is I'm going to split the video up into two sections. So the first one is for Uber, and the second one is for airports. Now, even though both are private hire, it's technically two separate jobs. Now, a lot of airport work, you can fit your Uber around in between your airport work, or some people just like doing full-time full Uber and they hate the airports, or people love the airports and hate Uber or taxis. So that's why I'm going to separate it. So now, for full-blown minibus, for Uber, so let's start off with Uber XL. Now, generally, Monday to Friday, there's not much XL work at all. A lot of the weekend is XL work, so like, um, think of like girls going for brunches, um, stag do's, hen do's, groups of students gathering together, getting to town, uh, events um, like like um, like concerts, like football, any big events, stuff like that. Um, and obviously nights out, weekends, that's where your XL work is. That's where your minibus work is on Uber. But generally, Monday to Friday, if there's not much going on, there's no football or concerts or big events, there's not much XL work. You get the odd little airport here and there, and you get the odd XL job where someone's forgot to change it back to X, and you get one person going on an XL. <laughs> but generally, myself personally, I don't think it's worth getting a big minibus for just, just Uber. Purely because 90, no, 80% of your work will be UberX. And then you've got the higher expenses, the higher diesel costs, the higher running costs, just in case that XL job comes in. So myself, personal, personally, if you don't do any airport work and you just do Uber, even though I don't believe in it, you should just go in like a Ford Galaxy or a Safari or something like that. At least then you could do the Uber XL work, but just bear in mind you've got no boot. So you can't do any airport work or anything there. Because obviously, once you've got six passengers, you don't have any boot for luggage. Now, that's generally Uber. So generally, Uber XL, not much work at all, other than events and the weekend and the odd little job. Now, minibus work is actually quite a fun fact. So first port of call, I want to explain that even the airport company owners who has the first pick of the jobs still has to do the taxis and still has to go back to Uber generally, sometime of the year. You never week in, week out, completely chocker. You'd always do bits. You'd always have little fallback. Yeah, during the winter months, stuff like that. Now, the thing you've got to realise when you get a minibus, right, and this is one of the reasons why I kept both cars, is when that airport work's gone, yeah, are you happy to run around doing Uber in your big minibus? Go back to the start of the video. I've said technically it's not really worth doing Uber in a big minibus because the extra cost, the extra insurance, the extra diesel. Do you know what I mean? You, you, your work pattern changes. But if you're bouncing around town doing four or five pound jobs, they all add up in a car. But you're not going to do that in a bus. So you might be parked up for an hour or two waiting for a job. That's 15 quid, 20 quid. That might not never come. Do you know what I mean? So your whole thing works differently when you're in the minibus. Now, when it comes to airport work, 
the summer holiday, aka the six weeks to eight weeks holiday when all the kids are off school, that is when your minibus makes a killing. It's chocker. For those six to eight weeks, airport work, minibus work, chocker. Like chocker non stop. Because all the kids are off school, so you've got your families and your, everyone going away. Now, before the six to eight weeks summer holidays, about a month or two before that, or a month or two after that, is your car airport work. And that's all your older couples, your pensioners going on cruises. Uh, all the couples, young couples, avoiding the summer holidays because the holidays are so expensive. Right? So, when I had a minibus, yeah, during the summer holidays, you're chocker. Outside the summer holidays, you're either doing the odd minibus job, you're doing... The odd car job in your minibus, which probably isn't worth it because of the price of fuel. And then you're going back to Uber in your minibus. Do you know what I mean? So that's the reason why myself personally, when I was looking at swapping the Tesla for the minibus, was the reason why I decided to get both. Now make sure you follow me guys, because this week I've just finished up my accounts for last month. And the last month was when I, it was the first complete month I had my car and my minibus on the road. So it would be interesting to see how much I profited from both vehicles and is it worth having a minibus. Now, if I can profit in the minibus generally throughout the year, I've got a minibus personally for the family to go to the caravan, go up to Scotland or whatever. My kids are too big to those squash in the car now with luggage. So that's one of the reasons why I got the minibus. So if I can take over in the minibus and profit a little bit throughout the year, but then park up the Tesla in the summer holidays and then smash the minibus work in the summer holidays, the minibus will then pay for itself. Do you know what I mean? So that's the reason why I've done it. So the, the Tesla's my main car. I use that mostly 85% of the time. Then the 10, 15% of the time, the minibus, I'm only doing minibus work in it. So it's the most profitable work I'm going from. My house, Liverpool City Centre, Top off at Manchester Airport, back to my house, back in the car. Do you know what I mean? So I'm only using fuel for that job and everything else. Do you know what I mean? Where if you have the minibus full time, you'd be doing that profitable minibus job, but then you'd be bouncing around on Uber. You might have to do a car job to take yourself over. Now, if you think about a 65 quid car job to Manny from Liverpool, you're talking three, five quid toll. Say six quid. That's not sixty quid. That's not including any commission you got to pay the company. Sometimes ten percent says fifty-five quid. Then you got to take off fifteen quid in diesel. Says forty quid. And then sometimes it's a two and a half hour, three hour job, depending on traffic, depending on if it's a pickup or a land or a takeout. Do you know what I mean? So this is all the stuff I was trying to work out when I was looking at swapping the Tesla to go into a full mini bus because obviously I am doing the airport work now. My own company and I'm starting to get working now especially for Liverpool because obviously that's where, where I'm from and I'm be able to do a lot of it myself because I'll run out in the car or I'll run out on the bus do you know what I mean or if I've got a back-to-back -back job I'll do the bus I'll go on the bus I'll take the car job out to the Manchester but pick up the bus job coming home do you know what I mean but I think what I found with the minibus is when it's busy for the minibus it's worth having a minibus I know it sounds mad, but when it's not busy for the minibus, I don't think it's worth having a minibus. And I think that's why there's a lot of people now, I know a few lads now that's got a really nice V-class and then like a two grand Mondeo to go do the odd car job or to tickle around on the taxis, but they've got that V-class for that V-class bus work, stuff like that. I've done it the opposite way. I've got the nice, obviously, Tesla that's super cheap to run. Where then I've got the diesel minibus that's just parked up. That cost me about £120 per week parked up if I don't use it. Um, and that's the way I've got it like. But the main reason I've got the minibus as well is for personal reasons for the family. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, but a lot of people say to me, is it worth having a minibus? <laughs> it's an hard one. If you own your own airport transfer company, like I know a few of the lads who's got the minibuses have their own airport transfer company. Yes, I would I would get a minibus and go full time minibus, but the problem you've got is outside of the summer holidays or outside of the summer months, most of those company owners do their own work. So at the moment, between like August, September, October, 
since October last year. You know, we got like you're in like loads of cover groups or whatever, whatever. Loads of people's groups. The odd job gets thrown in. The odd little job. Where in the summer months, it's carnage. Everyone's desperate to get work covered. Everyone's too busy. There's too much work. But it's in that six to eight week window. But then you've got to look at it and go, I got a minibus for that six to week, six to eight week window. Outside of that window, is it worth having a minibus? And that's the big question. Myself, personally, I've, I've never found it. Unless you'd own your own company, like I said before, and you got the cream of the work to pick from, then I'd say yes. But if you're just a driver who's doing the odd airport run off the odd operator or a bit of Uber, it's probably not. Do you know what I mean? Um, myself, personally, I've got both. It's only because, obviously, I've got my own company and, obviously, I've built up relationships over the, over the years now who I help out other operators as well. So I'm quite ticking over, like, so I haven't done Uber for, like, a week and a half now, two weeks, because I've just been ticking over with the airport work. Um, so, yeah, so just to summarise, guys, the best time to have a minibus for the airport work is the summer holidays. Outside of that, you're best in the car, to be honest. Um, I've done it wrong, you do get the odd job, but mainly it's all in the summer holidays. Now for Uber, Uber XL, it's just weekends and sporting events. Outside of that, you're better off from like an, an electric car that costs you pennies to run. So even now, in my opinion, I still I'm still pro electric car. I really am. I'm paying eighty pounds for four thousand miles. When in a minibus, four thousand miles will cost me eight hundred quid to a grand. Is that right, maths? Yeah. So, thousand mile cost me twenty pound on the car, and a thousand mile in the mini bus is two hundred to two hundred and fifty. So yeah, so if I've done it four thousand mile a month, it's a grand a month for diesel. It's eighty quid on my car, and that's the reason why I got the mini bus as long as my car, because I'm saving so much on fuel in the car. It was technically paying for the bus to be sat there. Do you know what I mean? That's how I weighed it up. Because I've always said in the past, guys, apologies for the video being so long. Uh, but I've always said in the past, guys, it's not how much you earn, it's how much you profit. You could earn three grand a week, and you could be paying out two and a half grand, and you'd be on five hundred quid. But there could be someone who's earning eight hundred quid a week, but only pr and profiting six hundred quid, and earning more money than your three grand. I know lads in V classes that are earning fifteen hundred quid, maybe two grand a, a week, but some of their expenses are like right up there, where they might be profiting. Same to someone who's bouncing around in a Yaris on Uber. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because it's all about profit, guys. It's all about profit. It's not about income. But listen, guys, I uh, sorry for rambling on as per usual, because you know me, I love a good chin wag. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's my opinion on minibuses, guys. And the best and worst time to drive them and use them. Um, don't get me wrong. I'll find out when it... <laughs> There's me talking all about this, and then... I've got my video coming up with my accounts. So it'll be interesting to see, was it the right decision for me getting both cars? And I'll find out when I do my accounts because I'll be doing, um, as long as I profit with both vehicles and at the end of the month, if profit's a total or an okay profit, then I'm happy. Do you know what I mean? But if I've lost or I haven't profited enough across the month, then, um, then that could be a problem. Alright guys, listen, as per usual, make sure you subscribe to the channel, follow me on TikTok, and definitely, definitely book your airport transfer with myself or any one of my other lads who um, can take you to the airport. I'm going to go now, I think I'm going to play maybe Fortnite or Minecraft or something, <laughs> whatever the kids want me to do, because uh, that's it. Summer all these, you got to do what you got to do, haven't you? Easter all of these. But listen guys, thanks for watching as per usual, and I'll catch you all later. See you soon.